Hey everyone, welcome back to more Quest of Beings 2. And we're going to take on level 6, which is uh, quite a bit longer and uh, more complicated. So I'm probably going to be using F6 Continues uh, to save on backtracking, um, because there's going to be a, quite a bit of it here. <clears throat> Alright, so which way to go, and actually these give you clues of what you're going to get. These, you know, here you just have water, uh, hammer post, and it looks like raft. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that key, unfortunately. This one is kind of easiest if you just leave one enemy behind. It's probably the easiest way to save a lot of trouble in this room. Because <clears throat> I don't think you get anything for clearing this room. And you notice you can't go up. So you really can guess one of the items you're gonna get. Actually, you should be able to guess all the items you'll get in this place. because you, you can lose life very quickly. Uh, this room... Okay, nothing. Just some traps. Oh, shoot. They're already upgrading this one, huh? Going up to Wizrobes. Okay, just get rid of as much stuff as you can with the uh, five seconds of invincibility. Okay, it's just a bunch of traps and just kind of skip through that room. Okay, this room, uh, you don't want to step on that thing in the center. That's probably not a good idea. And you'll see why. the flippers. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to step in this right off the bat because look at the area you'd have to fight in. It's just, you just have these two little squares and maybe some ladder spaces. Alrighty. I don't know why there's still a red bat there, but alright. Now the problem with the flippers is that it overrides your ladder, so you're not going to be able to use that for safety. See, a lot easier when you just leave one enemy there. And now you can get that key. Now, uh, let's skip that for just a moment. 
Now, if you don't have full power, <clears throat> uh, this room is going to be a total piece of crap for you. So that's why there's no shame in using F6 continue because you would start with uh, full hearts. Uh, you can use your sword beams because I, I don't really recommend trying to swim across that. Uh, because you, just the touch damage is 5 hearts, and if you get hit by the sword beams, they throw, it's 10 hearts. Uh, I'm not really in the mood for that. Even though this is going to take forever. Literally, because remember, this is only as strong as your level 1 sword. <clears throat> yeah, this is gonna take a while. I mean, how many hits is this gonna take? I think it's, what is it, isn't it like 32 hits or something? Because it's, uh, I believe it's 8 with your sword up close, like a level 3 sword. But you remember, this is, uh, take 4 times as many hits. The only good thing is that they're stuck in a column, you know, you imagine if you're, they had freedom to shoot at you. Oh, uh, that'd be... Nightmare to handle. So yeah, even though this is really painful to do, uh, but it beats getting killed really quickly. Now, unfortunately, you can't stun them. You know, you don't have a fire boomerang, which you will get in this game. Slowly wear them down. Yeah, because you're gonna need that key. <clears throat> and then you pick up the other key because you can actually swim. We can move on to this upper path now. And the land mole is actually working in your favor because I think they're gonna, I, you know, when you defeat him, they should block respawning. So even super dark nerds don't um, respawn through the, you know, dead land moles. It actually works in your favor to have these enemies around. <clears throat> and this one, okay, just a bunch of blue gumballs, so that's not a really a big deal. Uh, no statue support either. And I don't know how many blue gumballs are in this room. And I think there's more than three. Luckily, they're easy to dodge, you just do a little zigzag. Since I have plenty of money to burn. Yeah, definitely is four. Uh, I don't think that there are ten in this room, but I, I mean, I don't know, I don't remember this. Another one's down. Maybe there are ten in here. I think I've taken at least three already. There's another one. Oh, maybe you did put the full ten blue gomos in this room. <clears throat> Not that it's too difficult. Map's kind of, yeah, deceptively small. Remember this, you know, there, there are two floors of this place. Take note of that. Now, 
Okay, we can't go down yet, so we have to go this way. choices. <clears throat> now, you don't have to worry because every path has an extra key, so you'll never be short one. So you can just pick a... pick whichever door you want to go into first. Uh, but you want to go left. Uh, if you want to go to any route, just go left. This is the one that where all the money is. Uh, this room might be a little bit of a problem. Normally you'd have a, a ladder that you can, you know, use to swipe at the dark nuts. Now you, you don't have that anymore. So you're gonna have to do kind of hit and run. At least until you can get rid of the super dark nuts, then it's a bit easier to manage. Yeah, I can use sword beams, but look at that. I mean, they're so limited in strength right now. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to use them. You might as well just snipe what you can. Whatever limited value they got. Go to the left because you get this. You get the hammer. You know, you don't have to worry about losing a lot of life because there's a recharge spot there, so kind of generous. Now, if you want to go onto the other three paths just for kicks. Here's where the half tile concept comes in real handy because, you know, if you stand on the in between tiles, they'll pretty much always appear in the wrong spot. So, basically, letting you swipe away at them. And a suspicious square right here. And I think this is the only bomb upgrade of the game, so might as, well, might as well pick it up. And again, we'll just explore the other path just because we can. Now, this would be kind of tricky to get through. Yeah, 
you're gonna have to go this way to get out. Um, now I could... Again, you can F6 continue back to the beginning. You know, because you actually have to go back there to get another key. So... No shame in doing that. I think you can go down. But again, you're gonna need that extra key, so you might as well just go back to the beginning. Again, F6 continues perfectly fine since you start with full life anyway. <clears throat> but so that you don't forget this. It's kind of easy to forget to come back to the start to get this thing. Actually, you might you might have a surplus actually, because to explore all those paths, you would get a surplus key. Now that I'm thinking about it. Again, if you ever need refills, always go to that room. <clears throat> you might as well, you, you know, it's there for you. Finally, go on down. Don't know how long that took. A lot of delays. We're finally, going on the main path of this place. Now, oh, this is gonna be fun. <clears throat> you know, if you're gonna guard up the door, fine. I can play the same tricks on you. Mm. 
and that red bubble's kind of camping in front of the door. Easiest just to reset the room when I don't have all the bats to deal with. I got my hammer actually, I forgot I have my hammer. Even when I lose my sword, I still have something I can attack with. It's just, you know, the same strength as my level 3 sword. Kinda has the same radius as well, it has this weird arc when it swings. <clears throat> okay, this room can be a little bit ugly. Now I'm gonna try to spam as many hits as I can from the doorway. Whatever, you know, make this room a little bit easier. restricted in this room. Hmm. Okay, at least I can use my hammer. And I can do damage. Kinda hard to see the item that you get there, but you really want to get this. <clears throat> yes, the red ring. Uh, that's really worth your while to pick that up. Do we even have to take out this Superman hand bottle? I think I have to. I'll just take it out because I can. But the key was just standing there. Yeah, you really want the red ring because it probably will give you a little boost in this place. Yes, a uh, hammer breaks a uh, dark nut shield. So then, you know, after you break their shield, you can attack them head on. <clears throat> now, since these blue wizards like to snipe at you. play the same game, so I just do it better. Make a potentially messy room a lot easier. <clears throat> Alright, on to the main section of Basement. Yeah, we're probably only. Uh, oh 
boy, probably another at least 10-15 more minutes. This is gonna be a very long video. <clears throat> yeah, I can't use the ladder spamming. So, I'm just gonna have to hope my hammer actually has enough range. I think it might have enough range if I can do this way. Uh, this part's actually pretty linear, so no real tricks to getting through this place. And this one's just a matter of finding the optimal path through these traps, because you don't have to pound all the stakes in this room. This one, you have no land to fight these bats on. Yeah, you can't really throw your boomerang diagonally. You don't have any room to do that. So pick up the compass, which not very useful. Kinda to guess where the Triforce was actually. You're at a view first. Sword beams. <clears throat> you know, you guys are gonna just guard up the door, that's fine. Just swipe you from the doorway. Uh, I do have an extra key, I could go up actually, but you know, I'm just gonna go on this side and pick up the. Sort of a freebie key. <clears throat> no, this hammer can actually reach up on the other side, just barely. Actually, I probably should go up first, actually. When I think about it. I think this leads to the boss. Oh, this is a weird format. Look at this. It's like a long labyrinth. I should be using arrows, honestly. The sword beams are just not gonna cut it. This side is the same kind of really twisted room. Twisted types of mazes. Alright, this room. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun room to handle. Fuck, 
Okay. Just kind of get rid of as many enemies as I can in five seconds. Also got to pick up the boss key there. All right, now we can go finish off this level. Yeah, wasn't kidding when I said this level is kind of long. I mean, I mean, the F6 continues will probably take up a few minutes, but still, there's a lot of backtracking you got to do. Learn to love the hammer. And the fact that you can attack Dark Nuts head on. Now, uh, there's an extra key there for you. Um, you want to explore the other paths, I suppose, but, you know. Carefully grab that key without hitting the spikes. Because, again, that's still four hearts of damage. Uh, that does damage independent of your defenses. <clears throat> uh, now, this boss is going to be a little odd. Although, I think Quest of Beings had this kind of concept as well. Alright, so we have a kind of a combo boss. Get rid of the bigger threat first, you know, because the dig dog moves so slowly, it's not really that big an issue until you use the flute. Easy enough to get through that. Alright, so we can pick up this Triforce and finally be done with this dungeon. Holy smokes. That took a while. And we can actually pick this up. Might as well get the extra heart container there. And, you know, we're gonna go on just a little longer. I'm gonna get to the next dungeon. It's actually a mini, well, next mini dungeon. It's not actually the real dungeon. We'll do this while we still have a little bit of time. Actually, it doesn't take too long to get to the next place. Because actually, just go a few screens down, and this is where you can use your hammer. And you're gonna enter another one of these odd areas. Here's another mini dungeon for you. Down these stairs. Uh, so this is gonna be level C and we're already going long enough on this. So we're gonna take a break and hopefully this place I don't think is too long. So I probably could take this out and maybe level seven in the next part. All right, see you guys later.